by now you've heard about the rumors except they're not rumors anymore i'm sure you already know about this everybody uses it everyone talks about it everywhere you go it is the elephant in the room well as you know what we're talking about today is ai and this channel itself it's about grc data privacy data protection but can we talk about what role does ai play in grc functions in data privacy functions and data protection functions and how does that affect you so before ai organizations would have someone having to do daunting grc functions like writing a policy like responding to third party questionnaires and so on and so forth but right now at the moment this task are now being automated. Just the other day, I had a friend of mine. She's a CEO of an AI GRC company. Um, the tool does not just GRC stuff, but it also does every all the cybersecurity functions. Now, if you haven't even seen the video I talked about um, GRC tools, you definitely want to check out the video. I'm going to put it somewhere here called nine GRC tools that you should know about. So in the demo, she showed me this tool, being able to answer third party questionnaires. So instead of spending hours upon hours having to fill out those questionnaires yourself, those tools can do that for you using like your history, um, also just being able to predict what the answer would be and getting solutions from um, using your database to gather information. This is a powerful tool. Now, what does this mean? It means that ordinarily, Previously, somebody would have to sit down and answer those questions themselves. But because of AI, that task is now being automated. What does this mean? It means that the new job opportunity are going to be jobs that have to do it. Um, people who have AI skills, people who know how to use those tools. I know there's so many people who want to break into GRC, but I want to prepare you for the GRC job market, the new job market. By 2030, you would see GRC roles requiring people who have AI skills, AI experience, AI risk management experience. What companies need is no longer somebody, somebody who writes a policy, but you need somebody who can understand how to use the AI tools. Someone who understands uh, risk issues that come up with the use of AI tools. Because again, using AI tools also comes up with is, is issues, is concerns, concerns like ethics, concerns like other concerns like risk. And um, this is this, these are the skills that you really need to think about. And you really need to start growing and brewing as a GRC professional or someone looking to get into the field. Because I can guarantee you that if you stay back and say, I don't want anything to do with AI, you often get left behind. Now, what does this mean? This means, as we can see, is that AI will be, you can't have GRC without talking about AI especially if organizations, whether you're in third party risk management or some other GRC function, is you want to understand companies that use AI, how are they managing the risk that this, that the use of those tools, you know, introduces into the environment. And we can expect to see more roles that um, are both an integration of AI and GRC roles like AI risk officer, AI ethics officer, AI's compliance officer. Just think of anything that has to do with GRC and put AI there. It's definitely here to stay. Okay. And you can ask, okay, what does it mean to be a AI risk analyst? And I quickly want us to go into that is as a risk analyst, whatever you were doing as a risk analyst, assessing risk, doing risk assessments, now you're going to be doing it from an AI standpoint. So you need to be able to understand AI management framework and ensure that ensure that the AI systems, they abide to NIST AI or ISO um, 42001. And if you think of AI compliance specialist is you're trying to see how the companies comply to the regulatory requirements related to AI solutions. And we look at AI ethics officer is you're also looking at how the companies under how do they manage safety? How do they manage just concerns that have to do with ethical concerns? If we're looking at uh, his the AI transparent, is it reliable? Is AI robust? Is it fair? Is it accountable? Is it safe? Is it sustainable? These are really important issues that we're talking about right now. You're going to see roles like AI governance. So looking at 
how the governance of AI, the use of AI itself within the organization. What is the organization's plan to ensure that AI is used appropriately, that AI is used in a safe way, that risk is mitigated and compliance requirements are met? What is, how do you look at different AI use case? right, to mitigate those risks that AI can pose into the environment. And then we look at AI policy, someone who can write up a great AI policy document that really addresses all the concerns that we have, the questions that we have when it concerns the use of AI. AI thought party risk analyst, how are you ensuring that your thought parties are, uh, they adhere to NIST AI ISO 42001 standard? How do you what other like this is a new terrain altogether it's a new landscape altogether how do you monitor those risks and we look at ai auditor as an auditor you're auditing uh ai companies to ensure that they actually are compliant to a standard to a framework and so on and so forth so one thing i want to show you is just how many regulations have come up regarding ai this map shows us just around the world the world the red dots show us places where that already have some sort of AI law, some sort of AI uh, regulation in place to be able to uh, control the, the, the use and adoption of AI. Some of these places are Argentina, Australia, Bangladesh, and so on and so forth. And it's just going to keep growing because if anything, we know, definitely know that AI is here to stay. It's not going, going away. Um, by the way, this map is gotten from courtesy to AIPP, which is a privacy organization. So if you're interest, interested in data privacy, you definitely want to take a look at them. So very quickly here, we can see some of those laws in all the countries. And if you want to take a deeper dive into this AI laws, I'm going to paste this link in the description box for you. So you can also take a look as well. Another thing I also want us to look at is, you know, we're talking about um, AI and it seems like maybe it's, it's a speculation, like you're thinking, Christabel, is it maybe just a speculation? Because I know there's a whole frenzy about AI, but it's not. Because if you look on LinkedIn right now, you would see, like if you search for AI jobs, this is 36,000 jobs right now. And this is in the United States. But even right here on LinkedIn, we can see that there are AI jobs. I mean, AI just, came out like yesterday out of nowhere but already we have what 30 over 30,000 jobs in the United States alone and uh, I think if you look at in other jurisdictions you will see more uh, jobs for AI so we can already see this job yesterday is AI governance analyst genial uh, we can see AI policy AI consultant AI researcher this is growing AI security specialist you can also see privacy rules as, as well that have to do with AI and uh, this is definitely yet to stay so I want you to actually be aware so now we already have gotten it out of the way that AI is yet to stay but the question is it's not just talking about the problem I don't want to say it's a problem it's an opportunity some problems are always an opportunity for a solution so what can you do to solve this problem what solution can we offer this is where we're talking about deep learning ai deep learning.ai i love this website because it teaches you everything that you need to know about ai i know sometimes it's like we can be in a frenzy and we want 10 tools 10 websites to go to but this is all you need um this website they have lots of resources lots of training to help you explore ai they have uh videos as well so you can explore some of their trainings you can see chat gpt prompt engineering for developers you can see uh some of the other training that they have that teach you about how to prompt using ai i'm telling you it's wonders but also understanding ai tool itself what how how do you build an ai system how do you build an ai tool what are the intric intricates that go into building such a tool because if you, if you can understand that then you understand what risk you're looking for right so this is a very important site to learn about ai so i definitely encourage you to explore the training that they have now another site is nist of course nist for everything uh nist they have uh ai framework so i'm also going to link this site um, in the description box below uh, so this framework really goes into some of the things we talked about already 
uh, as to you know looking at AI risk, AI trustworthiness. Is it safe? Is it responsible? Is it secure? So definitely take a look at this website and familiarize yourself with uh, just some of the things that uh, you should you know just be learning about. So another site I want to introduce you to is ISO. They have a new standard 42001 that really talks about artificial intelligence management system and the risk management involved. How do you um, how do you cover risk? How do you control risk? Um, in an organization where AI is being used. Don't wait anymore. Go ahead and look at those websites and start learning about AI risk management or the different kind of AI ethical issues. Now, I want you to always remember something. Always start with the end in mind as you plan your career. So start with AI today to be GRC future ready. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment let me know what you think in the comments below and if you subscribe let me know comments i have subscribed so i can give you a virtual hug and welcome you to the grc family cyber sick grc family